Hey, Otto. Hey, wanna see my license? Do for you. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, Victoria. And hi, Juliana. Oh, Barbara. Cool. This is Barbara, the deaconess of the church. She is here to retrieve the holy liar de Hamil. May the Animo Archon protect you. I'm not really in a position to speak compared to our acting Grand Master, but I still want to thank you all on behalf of all of Mondstadt for your assistance. You're welcome. Fortunately, everything was resolved peacefully. I can't imagine how an all-out war between the military and the dragon would have ended. Now the Fatui have no choice but to keep their mouths shut. They must be annoyed that things didn't turn out as planned for them. This time, they even lost their best excuse to pressure the Knights of Favonius. Diplomatically speaking, they gained nothing, and on the contrary, simply proved just how vexatious they can be. Sounds like quite the story. So, did you bring the Holy Liar with you? We cannot ask you to keep defending the Liar forever. The Seneschal has been pressing me for a while now. We, uh, did bring it with us. Um, it's just... It's a little... <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm not here to collect rent. The church has always received special funding. <laughs> uh, 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 the Holy Liar! Lord uh, Barbados! Even if I atone for these sins for the rest of my life, <laughs> it would still not be enough! Uh, oh, give it here. <laughs> should get going. That trick I used to repair the Holy Liar. <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. <laughs> hey, don't go! <laughs> uh -huh. At last, Mondstadt's rodent ruler in the flesh. La Signora! Scurrying through the streets looking for leftovers? Mondstadt calls this a god? Resident rodent beats invasive vermin! Don't you dare speak back to me, insolent bard. Absentee Archon of Mondstadt. Impotent you've become. That smirk you wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? <laughs> Should have held your tongue. <sighs> so, this is a gnosis. Wouldn't huh? be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. Beauty is a waste. <laughs> When the beholder has no taste. Uh -oh. Fenty! <laughs> well, we have what we came here for. Come, before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. Is he alright? What planet are we on? <laughs> um, I wouldn't say he's alright exactly. Oh. 
I found you lying unconscious outside the cathedral and used my elemental powers to heal you. That bard awakened first, but strangely, my healing powers had almost no effect on him. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've encountered such a patient. But he just said, it's completely normal, and then got up and left the cathedral. He left? Already? Where'd he go? The symbol of Mondstadt's hero. That's what he said. Oh, that's what he said last time as well, right? The big tree? I wanted to stop him, but Jean... Uh, I... I mean... Master Jean said to let him leave. How strange. I think I understand. I think Jean understands. Paimon remembers Venti healing under that tree before. It's probably due to the connection between Windrise and the animal Archon. Master Jean has figured it out as well, but we can't tell Barbara. Okay. Find Venti at Windrise. Hey, Barbara. The Fadui were the ones who attacked you? That's too much. <laughs> Master Jean has already returned to the Knight's headquarters. She said that she will look for evidence. But she also said that if the Fatui didn't leave any traces, the Knights might find it difficult to lodge a complaint against them. Okay. Let's go to Windrise. Oh, well, maybe heal up while we're here. Okay. The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. <laughs> I said the exact same thing last time. <sighs> Why do I only say these things when I'm down on my luck? So, what is it notice? Ah, uh, so you noticed. Of course. <sighs> this isn't something I'm meant to discuss with ordinary people. But I suppose I can let you in on the secret. Okay. As you know, visions are external magical foci that only a small minority of people possess. They use these visions to channel elemental power. In truth, Every wielder of a vision is one who can attain godhood and ascend to Celestia. We call such people Allogenes. Uh -huh. Allogenes? Paimon's never heard of them before. <laughs> That's because this is a secret that only Archons are privy to. We don't need primitive tools like visions. Instead, each Archon has an internal magical focus that resonates directly with Celestia itself, known as a Gnosis. What about the thing hanging off your hip? <laughs> it's just a glowing glass ball I carry around to avoid suspicion. <laughs> okay, well, I feel cheated, but I guess I'm used to that by now. So who was that nasty woman who sent Paimon flying and stole your gnosis? Her name is Signora, number eight of the Harbingers. She and the rest of the Harbingers have been given godlike executive authority by the Tsaritsa of Snejnaya, and with it, Strength surpassing that of other mortals. The Tsaritsa of Snezhnaya? Isn't that... Indeed. She is one of the seven. The Tsaritsa who reigns from her winter palace, and the one person that the Fatui Harbingers all answer to. The seven don't always get along well, but still... I never thought that she would plot to steal another Archon's Gnosis. What sort of god is the Tsaritsa? Uh, how should I put this? 500 years ago, I knew her well. But I can't say the same is true now. You see, a certain catastrophe happened 500 years ago. And after that, she cut off all ties with me. But we can save discussion of the Cryo Archon and the Fatui for another day. If you seek the rest of the Seven, many difficulties lie ahead of you still. You should head for Mondstadt's neighboring nation of Liyue. The Geo Archon who reigns there, unlike me, administrates his entire region personally. He only descends once every year to give his divine predictions, which set the direction for Liyue for the rest of that year. Even so, it sounds like he works much harder than a certain someone, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> In any case, this 
Kyrgyz's rite of dissension is soon to begin. If you miss it, you'll just have to wait another year. Oh. What? Oh, why didn't you tell us before? Well, then bye! We're going! <laughs> One moment, Windborn Outlander. You mean me? Sorry for borrowing the statue's animal power without asking. Yep. Traveler, as you set off on your journey once again, you must remember that the journey itself has meaning. Uh huh. The birds of Tavat, the songs in the cities, the Tsaritsa, her Fatui and the monsters, they are all part of your journey. The destination is not everything. So before you reach the end, keep your eyes open. Use the chance to take in the world around you. Okay, Venti. I understand. Great. So, that's that for the Animo Archon's admonishments. Back to Venti time. <laughs> if you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. Okay. About Dvalin. Up till the end, Dvalin remembered his duty as one of the Four Winds. As such, I don't intend to forcibly strip him of that duty and force my ideals of freedom onto him. I just hope that Dvalin will be able to choose for himself and understand what freedom is. Before I became an Archon, I too was taught the meaning of freedom in this way by a friend. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. About the Abyss Aura. Kaya shared some new intelligence, you say? Oh, I see. So, the Abyss Order has a princess who orchestrated the plan to corrupt Dvalin? They were probably trying to turn Dvalin into a weapon of war for the Abyss. But that said, I have never heard of any such princess of the Abyss Order. Not an Abyss Aura tradition, then. So this is a recent development? I think so, too. Apparently. But how does a prince come out of nowhere and take command over the entire Abyss Order? If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. About Signora. That Fatui lady didn't hang around, did she? She just grabbed your gnosis and left? She wanted to avoid any eyewitnesses from the Knights of Favonius. The slightest slip up here would have destroyed the Fatui's diplomatic relations with the Knights. So they're just gonna keep acting like Mondstadt's allies as if nothing happened? <sighs> if only the Seven Nations had banded together against the Abyss Order in the first place. The Fatui possess the strongest military among the Seven Nations, yet they've used it to steal the Holy Liar, covet the power of gods, and use Dvalin as a bargaining chip against the Knights. Speaking of the Liar, didn't Diluc say something like this before? He said that the Fatui could only run amok across the Seven Nations and threaten the Knights because of the Harbingers. Yes. As I said earlier, the Cryo Archon has given them authority and strength beyond that of other mortals. The Tsaritsa. <sighs> I haven't seen her in 500 years. What is she thinking? What's her plan? Whatever the answer is, I have a feeling it's only going to make your search for the Seven all the more difficult. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. Okay, last one about deities. As I said before, vision wielders are known as allogenes and may ascend to Celestia. A gnosis is a higher order nexus of elemental manipulation and is emblematic of an archon's status as one of the Seven. But as for which of the seven took your sister, I'm sorry, I don't know. Wait, as one of the seven, I'm not clear of suspicion yet either, am I? <laughs> you don't look like that god at all. We've known you long enough to trust you. <laughs> We're a great team indeed. Say, once you find your sister, how would you like to become one of the new four winds? <laughs> Perhaps. Mm, you don't seem too into it. Hey, Tone Dev Bard! If being one of the Four Winds means free food, you can consider Paimon! <laughs> <laughs> if you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. Okay, there's nothing else. Well then, best be off to Lele. If the dissension ritual you failed to tally, then another year you must dally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Song of the Dragon and Freedom.
New quests, new quests, new quests. They send us to Liyue and I think they send us to Wolfendom, to the wolf. Okay, and reputation reward. Oh, we got an achievement, didn't we? Wonders of the world. Complete the monster Archon quest. Complete Song of the Dragon and Freedom. Be rescued by the Valen. Very good. What's this? The City of Wind and Song. Continental Explorer monster. To light up the entire monster map, excluding the Dragon Spine area, yes? Rush of a Thousand Winds. Unlock all teleport waypoints in Mondstadt. Very good. Okay. Oh, and the handbook. Let's take a look at the handbook. Visit the statue of the seven at Stormterra's lair. Yes. And craft something using alchemy. Yes, we've done it. Needed some materials for the ascension. And now we get this. Mortal and a catalyst billet. Very good. New chapter 5. Unlock 10 recipes. Yes. Collect 10 rewards from Blossoms of Wealth and Blossoms of Revelation. Yes. We've done quite a few of those. Clear 3 domains of forgery for weapon ascension. Yes. Enhance 3 weapons to level 40. Yes. Level up 3 characters to level 40. Open 100 chests. Oh, we get a key. A key of shrine. Enhance 12 artifacts to level 4. Yes. What's next? Visit the Statue of the Seven at Sea of Clouds. This is somewhere in Liwe, I believe. Clear Spiral Abyss 1, 3. Hunt down a Ruin Hunter. Okay. Very good. Oh, and I saw domains. Yeah. What do we have here? Drowns Domains. Confront Storm Terror. This is one of the weekly bosses you can do once a week. Very good. What else do we have in the character menu? Constellation. Oh, we got a constellation. Increase energy recharge by 16%. Yes. Very good. What do we have here? Story reading time. More voiceovers. Okay. Time to get back to Monster. And what else did I see on the map? Reputation reward and new reputation quest. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to Hatta. Oh, it's you. We've been shorthanded again lately. Is there any chance that you can help out? How's my reputation? Monster quests. Yes, 100 points. And we can do requests now. Very good. Request from Helen. What does she want? 10 sweet flowers. Request from Connor. 10 spikes of wheat. Request from Brooke. 6 servings of fowl. Okay, you accept them and just bring the people the stuff they want. Pretty quick. But I want to... Let's take a look at the event page. F5. Because we should get Barbara now. <laughs> Barbara's here. Leave the healing to me. I will not disappoint you. Yes, click to claim, yes. Very good. Ta-da! <laughs> Barbara's here. Leave the healing to me. I will not disappoint you. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Xiangling. I'm a chef from Liyue. My favorite place is the chicken. I mean, the kitchen. Oh, I practice so hard, but I still get nervous when introducing myself. <laughs> okay, I was looking for the for the weapon. We should get a four-star bow for Ember. Let's take a look at the hand at the backpack. Maybe we got it already. Yes, there it is. Okay. Didn't notice that we got it. Base attack and energy recharge. This will be for Ember then. But we need to level it up a little bit. Okay. Very good. 
Oh, and this one I didn't show you, F4. We got this battle pass. I believe we unlocked it at Adventuring 20 or 25. I can't remember. We had it last week already. And there's a, a lot of goodies that you can get. All these things in the top row is what you can get for free. Basically, and if you pay a few bucks, you can get the ones in the bottom row as well. But we are a free-to-play account, so we only take the, the top row. And to do that, basically, you, you, by playing the game, you get daily missions like these, log in, complete commissions, mine items, you get points, therefore. And uh, weekly stuff, like, let me show you what we've done, complete bounties, forge items, cook dishes, and so on. You get points for these. And for every thousand points, you advance one level. And these are the things you get for the levels. There's a weekly level uh, limit of 10,000 points. And the whole battle pass runs for five and a half weeks, I believe, for 40 days. And looks like it started 38 days ago. So in two days it's over, Sunday evening, Sunday night. And we just, we happen to finish this one. Make a total of 50 wishes, because it counted all the wishes we've done before already. And today with the 10 pull, we completed this 51. So one and a half levels. Very good. And I believe he might be able to get to level 20 by the end of the week and by the end of the period. Come on, okay. let's get moving. Very good. Well, in place after all. <laughs> so the next quest will be... Next Archon quest will send us, send us to Liwe. But we also have, let me see, Archon Quest, these are the story quests, yep. We already had this, this was Lisa's quest we had from the very beginning, I believe. And this one is the Shangling quest, which we already triggered. And these are the new ones. Legend of the Dark Knight Hero, not sure about what this is. This is about Razor, I believe. So maybe we should do these next because they are all here in the Mondstadt region. And when we're done with them, we will go on with the Archon quest. But that shall be it for today. Have a nice day till next time.